Does this mean Brisbane's got the games in 2032? Well, not quite, but we are in the front seat. We're now in a, an exclusive uh, time of uh, targeted dialogue. We've moved from the continuous dialogue process to targeted dialogue, which means that uh, we now have the opportunity to exclusively negotiate and work with the IOC for the 2032 game. So we're in the front seat, uh, but there is still a fair bit of work for us to do, and uh, we are working very cooperatively with uh, the Queensland Government and the South East Councils, who have done a great job in initially getting the concept of the 2032 Games proposal up in the first place. So what does that actually mean, though, targeted dialogue? What does this mean for the viewers at home? Well, this is the new process that's been established by the International Olympic Committee, uh, but it means that we are the only country that are working with the IOC at this point in time for the 2032 Games. So... Yeah, it's now up to us to uh, put a bid forward. We're not competing with anyone else at this point mm. in time. We are now exclusively working with the IOC to finalise a bid process for 2032. So might Brisbane be the Bradbury of Olympics in that it's the only city standing? Well, we could be the uh, whole race front runner if we play our cards right. It might be that we've led from the barrier, uh, and which I think we have, to be honest. And uh, we've, we've led for the entire race. That would be my objective. OK. And so when would an announcement officially be made in 12 months' time? Well, that, that's the notional period that we're talking about uh, with, with the IOC, but we'll be doing everything as quickly as possible to get our bid together, the information to the IOC's future host commission, uh, and uh, put the IOC in the best possible position to be able to make a decision on the bid as soon as we can. OK, we're seeing what's happening this year with Japan and the Olympics. What, what sort of protections w would be in place uh, to ensure uh, it's not wasted money if, if there is another pandemic that costs us the 2032 Games? Well, look, I think when you consider that, firstly, we have, we'll have 10 years to prepare for this. Uh, as the IOC said in their statement overnight, the accommodation stock that's required for the Games is already in place. So I think we're in a very, very fortunate situation where we have a lot of infrastructure that's there already. 80 or 90 per cent of the facilities will be existing facilities that will need some upgrades or they'll be temporary. Uh, so we will be able to plan this that will, uh, in a way that will benefit the natural growth of South East Queensland. Uh, and so the facilities and the legacy from that will be particularly of benefit for those communities, but we'll be able to plan this in a way yeah. that uh, works towards the natural growth of the region in, in any case, and I think that's one of the advantages of our bid.